Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can set the culture of your team. Hi, my name is Colin Boyd from colinboyd.com.au and today I want to share with you an idea that I think every leader must get for them to be able to be effective in their team leadership. Now, just recently I became a father. Um, I've got a young son, his name's Jonah. He's bit of a rock star, if I might say myself. And um, just recently, uh, he had quite a high temperature. And I remember kind of getting quite worried as a you know, first time parent does. I didn't know what to do, because I've heard that high temperatures are bad. And uh, so I went over to my son and I tested his temperature. And we walked away and we thought, you know, it's, high, it's quite high. I searched on the internet and it said, you know, a certain temperature is quite high. And I thought, you yeah, know, this is quite high. Um, but I think a lot of the time, one of the biggest problems is that people in your team um, just do that with their team. So in other words, they come in, they test the temperature, but that's all they do. And they say, this is not good, or this is, things aren't going well. They say, Jenny isn't performing well, or Mike isn't going well, or Matt's not doing great. Or, you know, they, all they do is just test the temperature. But if I think about this with, with Jonah, if I didn't actually reduce his temperature, you know, whether it be putting a damp cloth on his forehead or something like that, if I didn't reduce it, then essentially what I'm not doing is I'm not addressing the, the challenge or the, the root of what the problem is. And I think a lot of the time people do that in your teams and even leaders do it. They say, they test the temperature. In other words, they say things aren't going well around here, but they don't actually change the, the temperature. So I want you to get this. I think leaders need to be a thermostat, not a thermometer. So let me give you three ways that I think leaders should set the temperature. First of all, I think you should get clear on your team standards. So you should have a conversation with your team um, over, over maybe you know, 90 minutes and you sit down and you say, what do we actually expect of each other in this team? So set some team standards. Number two, I think that you need to be and exhibit um, the behaviors that you wanna see. You can't just expect people to do what you want them to do without you being that standard. Um, I think you need, to, you need to exhibit that. And finally, I think sometimes as leaders you need to admit mistakes. And I know this isn't always popular, but, but you need to say sorry, you need to admit mistakes, you need to really kind of own up sometimes when you mess up. And I think a lot of the time people actually respect you more when you apologize or you say, you know, I messed up here or I made a mistake here. Um, you actually set the temperature for a level of vulnerability in the team. So there are three ideas. So the big idea here is basically that you need to be a thermostat, not a thermometer. You need to not just test the temperature, but set the temperature. Hey, if this has been valuable, why don't you like this? Uh, why don't you tweet it, uh, write a comment, and uh, share it with your community. I'd love to, love to um, continue on having this conversation and look forward to seeing you next week. Talk to you soon. Welcome to today's video. What we're gonna be You can set the temperature. Oh no. Hang on.